Hey, so this is my second video and second recipe, which is a marscapone tart, although um, this is on the My Plant Cake course, and she has three versions. There's a classic, classic marscapone tart, um, and then there's an adapted one, and this is more of a classic vanilla tart. So she has miso and uh, macadamia and some oats in the other one, and this is gonna be uh, much more just chill for people that don't really want all that umame and you know too cheesy of flavors, um, which I thought my husband would like better. So we've got a cup of cashews, we've got some soaked dates, we've got some pink Celtic sea salt, some vanilla extract, and a very special coconut oil, all the way from Honduras that I got shipped to me by uh, Dr. Sebi's nephew, actually. I connected with him a few years ago and he sent me herbs and coconut oil uh, a few times. So these coconuts are wild beach coconuts. So he has a person that goes and harvests these coconuts, processes the coconut, and then sun dries it. So it's like, this is as good as it gets for coconut oil, right? Anyway, so I've got my little mini cuisine art and we are going to throw these all together to make the crust. And then we will make the filling and then it will go into the freezer overnight. Um, and then we will decorate it tomorrow after it defrosts for a little bit. So I've, I've had this for some years, but I started using it more recently. It's not the greatest. It probably needs a new blade, but I have this uh, Breville much bigger one and I didn't want to bring it over for that. So I'm going to see what I can make happen with this. Okay. And then we, and it's pretty small. So like if you like overdo it, like there's a max line on here. So if you overdo it, it like, you know, spills out. Okay. So a little pinch of the salt. And then we've got melted coconut oil. I'm wearing these orange glasses because I got this ring light, overhead light. I'm not used to all these lights. And I have, um, you know, incandescent, incandescent and amber bulbs in my main house. But these are much brighter than I'm used to. So I'm trying to block some of that bright light, especially because it's in the evening. It's around 6.30 now. Okay, so I've never been a recipe maker or follower, and I'm looking at this going, okay, so I should have actually blended the cashews first and then added all the other ingredients. So, but with this food processor, because it's, it's you know, a mini food processor, it's not as strong, I don't know that it would have done very much, honestly, but I gotta get, really get better at reading and assimilating and following directions, especially because this is a course. So I found that a lot of the recipes I would make, I, I would fudge it up because I'm like, oh dang. I sh it, even though I watched the video, even though I read it, it's like when you get into just doing it, and plus I have this printed on two sides. So it's a little challenging, but we shall see. Getting that nicely spread out. And then I'm gonna put this in the freezer while I work on the cream. Okay, so yeah, I, but you know what? This is looking really creamy, so I'm in luck. I am in luck. This is sheer luck, because you know. Whew, some, some of these recipes get really, they just don't turn out well when you don't follow the directions to a T. So it is really, really important if you want the eggs. Fingers crossed, it stays delicious and creamy. Look at that, no splatter, you know, cause when it's like thick and creamy like that, amazing, all right. Check out 
trying to keep stuff out of the frame. Okay, so. Okay, despite having done it wrong, there's what it looks like. I mean, when this progresses, you know, I'd love to get the overview so you guys can see. I like love all these like shorts and different, um, you know, cooking baking videos with all the different angles, but like the camera, the second uh, phone, backup phone that I have, it like completely ran out of space because I have a memory card in this one. But in this one, it was like, nope, so I gotta figure that out. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the crust and be right back. Crust, what do you guys think of this apron? I think it's super cute and vibrant. My, I just uh, opened it, my sister-in-law got it for me for Christmas and it says, Greens aren't boring, you're boring, lol. Super cute. Okay, so let's do this. Trying to make sure it was actually like in the frame. And the table looks like lopsided, so I assume that the floor is just kind of lopsided. So not much I could do about the floor. I just stabbed the crust a little bit on accident. So be careful with that. All right. Drip, drip, drip. Time to taste. Oh, definitely very cheesy mascarpone. Very fluffy, y'all. I don't know, man. This might turn out incredible. This might be a winner, 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 tart dinner. Mm-hmm. I scrape the hell out of like my Vitamix for smoothies and everything. So I'll be here for another five minutes scraping this thing. I actually have this Vitamix tool for scraping into the blades, but I haven't really used it. It's a really long handle, and I thought it would be really helpful. It probably would be actually perfect for this, so I wish I would have brought it over. All right, I'll scrape the rest off camera. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's see if there's any other tips. Okay, so level it out and then tap it on the table. Tap it without having this whole thing just like splatter. Speaking of splatter, we had a Norwalk juicer that we used for a pretty short period of time and that thing splattered. I don't know if you guys have any experience with Norwalk juicers, but wow, you can get like all of the juice, but between the, uh, the, the cloths you had to use and the splattering and the pressing. Oh my gosh, it was quite the ordeal. It was when I was doing um, a, a detox, a cleanse, and maybe it was recommended or I did research because your girl is like an avid researcher of all the things, whether it's, you know, uh, a supplement, a protocol, a gadget, a recipe. Anyway, so somehow I got this used Norwalk. Oh my God, that thing. I also sold the Norwalk on Craigslist. Funny enough, when I was living in Florida, I ended up selling it on Craigslist as well. All right, I think that's pretty good. So this is gonna live in the freezer overnight. Ooh boy, oh yeah. And then um, take it out, defrost, or actually take it out for like 10 minutes, pop it out, and then put it in the fridge for a couple hours and we decorate it. I don't have any fresh berries, so what I do have is raw coconut, uh, they're not flakes, I guess, pieces. 
And then I've got some rosebuds that I got from the bulk section at the co-op. And this is when I was in St. Louis. I was able to actually find lavender, which I was buying for uh, my mooncake horse and I never used it. So lavender mm, with a little small coat that I got this one as well. So I'm gonna be figuring out how I'm gonna make it all pretty tomorrow. So, all right, y'all. Well, this is day one, the second video of day one. Day two, we will be decorating and then probably starting on another recipe which is a salted almond tart. Salted almond chocolate tart, something like that. But I hope you guys have enjoyed that, keeping it real, fudging it up, winging it, just doing all the things. Ciao.